I'm Mayor Dan Roebuck, and I'm here to tell you about what happened with the city of Leesburg for the month of May. The Probably the most exciting thing, and it's gotten the most uh, attention, is we uh, voted on and approved the final plans and funding for the new community building. And uh, that's going to be a really nice facility uh, right in Venetian Gardens. It's going to be close to where the current one is, but not in the exact same place. Uh, it's actually going to be sitting on where uh, Dozier Circle currently is, facing the islands. Uh, so it'll have a lot of site work. Uh, the, new, the current community building is going to be knocked down. The demo will start at the end of July uh, with the idea that we can get in that site work, which is quite challenging because of the muck and stuff in there and the road realignment and have the new community building opened for the 4th of July for 2019. Uh, so it's an aggressive schedule, but we think we can get that done. Uh, the new community building, is, it's gonna be just uh, absolutely first class. Uh, opening and overlooking the islands, you're gonna have a, a big wall of glass, you'll have an outdoor terrace, uh, about a 300 person ballroom there with, with the kitchen. Um, and uh, so you can bring in your caterer, have a, have a really nice meal there, uh, big events. And then in addition, there are two smaller rooms uh, that also can be rented out. Uh, each of those holds uh, somewhere between 75 and 100 people. And then additionally, there is a, a dividing wall that could be taken down and you can get close to, I believe it's about 200 people uh, in that if you were to get both of the smaller rooms. So it's gonna be a really great addition to Leesburg. A lot of community groups uh, could be used for uh, weddings or many other uh, events. So we're really excited about that uh, project. Um, and uh, one thing that did come with that that I, th I think we, we and myself certainly didn't do a good enough job with is uh, talking about the closing of the pool. So uh, the current Venetian Gardens pool is, has to be closed. Um, it'll be closed uh, in, in July. And, and the reason that has to be closed is it's where the, uh, the new parking lot will be going. Now that pool was built in the 1920s and it, it's uh, kind of on its last leg. The last couple of years, we've had to spend anywhere between twenty and hundred thousand dollars every year to get it reopened. Uh, currently, while it's open, it's also uh, leaking uh, and losing about uh, two inches every hour. So it's a challenge. But we just we, we definitely could have done and should have done a better job letting everyone involved with the pool know the scheduling and what our future plans are. Um, we do have a second pool, uh, the Dabney Pool. Uh, which is over near Carver Middle School, um, but that's a smaller pool and, and not as, not uh, really good for swim meets. So, and then in terms of a future pool, um, while no decision has been made exactly what we're going to do, we, we've talked about some different ideas, and uh, we are committed to some either late June or at the absolute latest in July to making a decision to let everyone know. And I will certainly be updating everyone uh, via social media on when that meeting will be, so you can come and give your comments. We'll be talking about uh, the possibility of a new pool. We'll be talking about other long-term capital improvements, like uh, improvements to West Main Street, uh, possibly helping out the school system with some needs, uh, and then a whole lot of other projects. Uh, we, get, we get brought projects on almost daily, it seems like, and uh, so we'll be kind of looking at those, and we want to hear from the community, so please reach out. Um, either via email, commissioners at leesburgflorida.gov, or you can uh, find me on Facebook. And uh, let us know what you're thinking. And, uh, come to the meetings because we really need that input. Um, then uh, additionally for Venetian Gardens, and this, this is the part that I'm personally most excited about, and that's the new restaurant pad site. So uh, people all the time are asking, you know, why don't we have a restaurant in the water in Leesburg? And finally, it's going to happen as part of these improvements. We've uh, reached an agreement on a ground lease with a developer out of Ocala, the Boyd Development Group, and they are going to be bringing in a $2 million restaurant, uh, which will be have indoor, outdoor seating. They're talking about live music. It's just going to be a great addition. There'll be docks so people can come by the water uh, to Leesburg finally, and uh, it's just really, really exciting. Um, so looking forward to, to seeing that happen as well. We have a big problem in Leesburg with the homeless population. We have a lot of services, which uh, in turn brings into a, a lot of the homeless population. And uh, they've started uh, hanging out downtown. Some of them are being aggressive, asking for money, sleeping on the sidewalks. And so we passed an ordinance that allows us uh, to, to address some of those issues. So you'll no longer be able to sleep on the ground downtown. You can't uh, have your stuff all piled on the sidewalks. Uh, you can't ask money for people when they're 
you know, when they're in an ATM, when they're eating lunch out in one of the outside areas downtown. Um, you can't anywhere in the city go up and, and aggressively ask for money. So if it happens to you, if someone approaches your car, they approach you at a store and you feel unsafe, please call the Leesburg uh, Police Department and let them know. This is a complaint-driven system. But if you feel like it's an issue, you need to call. And with this ordinance, our police now have the teeth to start addressing some of this issue. So uh, look for some improvements in that area uh, shortly here. Then additionally, uh, I went to two really exciting groundbreakings for, for Leesburg, some uh, open houses. Uh, the first one was with Beacon College, their new RAP residence hall. It's right downtown where the old Herlong Packing House used to be. It's just absolutely state-of-the-art facility where the students can now live on campus in a, uh, a really great setting that will help with their learning and uh, is a great addition. It's a beautiful building, a great addition to Leesburg, and uh, it's just exciting to see that uh, Beacon College continue to grow and invest in downtown Leesburg. I also had the privilege of attending the uh, first open house for the new South Lake Hospital emergency room, which is actually in Leesburg. It's on Highway 27, just past the North Interchange for the Turnpike. Uh, you can't miss it. It's a beautiful facility. It's going to be a 24-7 uh, full service emergency room with some uh, outpatient facilities as well. Uh, it opens, uh, I believe it's towards the end of this month, so the end of June. And uh, that is also a really great addition to Leesburg. So with that, I'm Dan Roebuck, and I look forward to speaking with you again next month. Thank you.